Good afternoon, Birdie Eagle Kids. It's Coach Greg here on a beautiful day at Briarwood Country Club. Today's lesson we're going to talk about star, stop, think, anticipate, respond. Now that makes some sense if you're looking at a math test, but what else does it have to do with golf? Well, in golf, we have another term you might remember pre shot routine. You gotta stop, think about the shot you're gonna hit, what club do I want, anticipate, where's that ball gonna go, where do I need to aim, do I need to take a practice swing, and then I'm gonna respond with how well I hit the shot. So stop. Think, anticipate, respond, star, or pre-shot routine. They're kind of interchangeable. For our Eagle participants, we're going to talk about planning for the future. Well, Coach Greg always likes to say, are you doing your pre-shot routine? When you're planning for the future on a golf course, aren't you using your pre-shot routine? How about planning for your future when you're setting your goals and your dreams for later on. All that stuff still applies. So today we're gonna to work on some of that as we do some putting and we do some chipping. Our golf skill today is tempo. Tempo, as you all know, is the rhythm of the swing. How fast or how slow do I swing? Everybody's got a different one, so we're gonna explore which ones work for you. And our rule today is the difference between Stroke play and match play. Some of the lingo we use when we're doing that. Stroke play, you might get a par. Match play, you win the hole. A little bit different terminology, a little bit different scoring. But right now, let's go out and get it done. All right, we're here in our first activity. We're gonna do a little chipping. And we're gonna see if we can chip the different boxes we've got laid out on the green. Coach Jennifer is going to be our pupil. She's going to work with us, and we're going to work with tempo and size of swing. So, Coach Jennifer, do you like a fast tempo, a slow tempo? What's your favorite tempo? Um, I'm kind of more in the middle, more of a medium. Um, I, if I get too quick, then I have problems. So, something like a one, two? Yeah, exactly. That like sounds good? Two, yeah. So, kind of just... Let's try it out. And Coach Jennifer is going to... Try to keep her swing to that tempo, and let's see, put it in this first orange box, go Jennifer. I'll count out the tempo for you. Ready? Yes. One, two. Wow, that worked pretty good. I like golf applause. <laughs> but now we want to go to the green box. Same tempo, let's see if she can do it. Ready? One, two. Whoa, two for two. Can she get three out of three? Let's see. All set. One, two. Whoop. That one didn't get there. No. What do you think you need to do different, Coach Jennifer? Uh, hit the ball cleaner, but uh, probably adjust my length of swing a little bit. Okay, so contact is always good. That's going to make a difference. But length of swing, a little bigger swing, let's try it. One, two, there it is. Nice work, Coach Jennifer. So, what did we learn? Uh, keeping tempo is important. If I yep. get a little quick or even sometimes a little slow, then it ends up adjusting. But how, how did you manage to get them different distances there? You swung with the same tempo. Um, I Same tempo, but my length of swing was a little bit different, right? So A little uh, bit bigger swing. Correct. The shorter ones are not going as far, probably shin to knee height, and then I get bigger as I'm going down the way. Perfect. How do you figure that out? Practice. Practice, guys. <laughs> That's lots but and lots of practice. You heard her say, first one was shin height. She's got a guide, something to kind of use as a distance marker. Second one was maybe knee high. Third one, maybe hip high. Use those reference points to help you judge how big a swing you make. And you'll make great chips just like Coach Jennifer. All right, we're out here at our putting course. Coach Scott and I are gonna play a little competition. Now you could play a competition in stroke play, where we're just gonna count how many times we hit the ball. Or there's another way to play, it's called match play. 
where the low score wins the hole. So we're going to play match play. Let's see how we do. Go ahead, Coach Scott. You have the honor. Thank you, Coach Greg. Coach Scott. Can I finish? You may. Very nice. Nice putt. So I gotta do this. So we both got, I got a two, what'd you get? I got a two. So in match play, we're tied. So we're all square. All square, let's go to the next hole. So then do I go first again since you, I started? You started. And we had the same score? Okay. You still have on it. do now? Well, I'll give you that one. So I had a par, but I had a birdie. Uh-oh. So you had a three, and I had a two. So who wins the match? Coach Scott, because he's one up. All right, that's the difference between match play and stroke play. So sometimes go out and play some match play. It's a lot of fun. All right, birdie you class. That's week six for our programming. What were our life skills today? Birdie class, remember? Star, stop, think, anticipate, respond. Or in golf terminology, your pre-shot routine. Evaluate the situation. Think about what's gonna happen, anticipate it, and then respond to the result. Our Eagle class, you guys remember, we talked about planning for the future. Believe it or not, planning for the future can even be interpreted on golf as your pre-shot routine. Plan what's going to happen. Think about the steps you need to take to get to that future result of that hole-in-one. That's what we're all striving for. In our activities, we worked on tempo. Remember, everybody's tempo is different. Everybody's rhythm is different. Some people walk fast. Some people walk slow. Your swing should have the same tempo, though. Same smooth back, same smooth forward. Try to keep your tempo always the same. We invite you to join us Thursday for our coaches' Facebook Live at 4.30. We're going to answer some of the questions you guys have regarding our class today. Things like, how can I plan for my future? What are some things I need to think about for my future? How can I use STAR outside of golf? 
How can I use it in school? How can I use it at home? So tune in. Facebook Live 430 and we'll see you there. Have a good one.